Hey there, Fletch from All Things Overlanding here. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about installing my new 20 inch New Air Outdoor XP4 rated water resistant fan. So I'm gonna kind of show you guys how simple and how easy this thing is to install. Um, tell you a little bit about my thoughts on it. I've actually had a few New Air products and that's kind of why I picked this up. So I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about it, give you the features and stuff and show you how easy it is to install. So if you wanna see more on that, stay tuned. All right guys, so as I mentioned today, I'm gonna to be installing this 20 inch new air fan, uh, outdoor fan on my pergola. So you can kind of see it's kind of high up there actually, which is gonna be an interesting test to see how much this blows air. But my plan is to actually mount it right back there in that corner, kind of facing diagonally out towards my table right here. So, you know, we have people over quite a bit. We have a heater for in the winter, but we've never had anything in the summer and it has been a hot one this summer. So kind of our thought was, you know, let's try this thing out. Let's see how much air it moves. I, again, I have a new air fan that I use in my garage that has like a base on it. And I love that it's all metal construction, just much more heavy duty than all those plastic cheap ones that you find. And I don't think that the prices are like crazy or unreasonable for the quality that you get. And the one that I've had in the garage, I've had for like a year, year and a half, and I've used it quite a bit with no problems. Still runs like a top, starts up every time, looks brand new. I mean, I love the metal construction and how heavy duty these things are. So I'm interested to try this one out outside. I'm knowing how much air that one moves in my garage. I'm sure that this one will move a good amount of air out here too and make like having people over and stuff much more uh, exciting and palatable in the summer. So hopefully not so bad. Um, but as you can see, like I said, it is all metal construction. Pretty much everything is metal, even these little clasps. So you can take this cover off the fan if you need to like get in there and clean it out or do anything in there. Or, you know, if you need to reach these little handles, it basically comes with the fan. So there's an 18 and a 20 inch fan. I got the 20 inch because I want to move as much air as possible since I'm outside. And then it does come with this bracket, which I've removed and I'll tell you why here in a second. But basically these little hand knobs here turn off of this. There's a little spacer in between it. And then there's like a locking nut inside there. So basically you can just twist this right on there through these holes to put the fan in the mount. So the mount comes with two drywall anchors and two screws. I'm mounting into wood, so I won't use the drywall anchors. I'm just gonna use the screws. But again, my plan is to mount the mount up to the pergola. And then I'm actually gonna, just to be safe and try and make it last as long as possible, I'm gonna take the fan down like in the winter. I think probably when the summer comes around, we will put it up and we'll probably just leave it up all summer. And then when fall comes around and we don't need it anymore, then I will probably just take it down and store it in my deck box so that it's just waterproof and doesn't have to be through all those elements through the winter. And then as for this other little sort of like brass piece, what I believe this is, is so this actually can be wall mounted or it can be floor mounted. And I believe that this uh, can go through the center hole here and goes through the floor base and actually serves as kind of an extra leg slash strengthening bolt. Um, so I'm not going to use that in my installation. I'm just going to use the two screws through these two holes and uh, hang it up there on the pergola. And then we'll get it plugged in. We'll see how it does. So out of the box, it also comes with this, you know, extended piece of chain just to give you plenty of reach so that you could hang this thing again, like up high on my pergola and still reach it. It does just come with one of the sort of typical little chain connectors. So there is a little piece of chain hanging out here. You do have to connect that when you first get it. Um, as you can see, the power cord is like super thick, super good quality. Again, being outdoor rated, it does come with this indicator light and the ability to reset the unit. So you can kind of reset that and test it. Um, if something would happen, it would, you know, short out or, or, or something would happen. This is, gives you the ability to reset the thing. So kind of a nice feature. Um, but again, let's get this thing installed. All right guys, so I got it mounted and I did it a little bit of an unorthodox way. So I'm gonna kind of show you a little more on exactly how I did it this way, why I did it this way. It may not be the recommended way. So just, you're taking my word for this if you wanna mount it like this. I've run it a little bit and I haven't had any problems. I've seen people online that also mounted their sideways. They seem to be fine. I mean, it's spinning in a circle. I can't imagine just being sideways instead of, you know, hanging from the top is all that much more stress, maybe a little bit more stress on the bolts holding it up, but I mean, they're way over engineered. Like the bracket is really solid. The nuts themselves are really solid. Again, I've been running this for about the last half hour, hour. I had my wife come out and sit and I will show you, I'll sit in the farthest chair from this thing and I'll show you, it actually blows a good amount of air. It feels really good. So um, again, let me show you how I mounted this thing. All right, so again, this is just the way that I did it. I'm not necessarily recommending it. I don't like work for new air or anything like that. So they may have different ideas of how to mount this. Obviously it's intended to hang, right? So this thing is meant to hang from the top, but here's what I was thinking. Here's why I did it this way. 
one, it's way easier to reach down here. It's way easier to get to. So if I do want to take this down, you know, when winter rolls around, just to kind of keep it protected, I'm, I'm not too scared of it in the water because it's XP4 waterproofed. Um, like in the summer and spring and stuff, I think it'll probably be fine over here. But again, in the winter, there's just no sense in getting a bunch of wear and tear on it. So I'm probably going to pop those two knobs, right? The one up there and the one down there off of it and just pull the whole fan off and unplug it and throw it in my deck box. Um, but so if I was going to hang it up here, one, the bracket where those holes are, are not wide enough for my pergola. So I couldn't like stretch across there and get something angled like diagonally so that it would then blow down on the table. And two, it's also really high, right? So then like, I'm going to have to get a ladder every single time that I want to climb up there to uh, install the fan or, or take down the fan, right? So I kind of liked that it was down here. I also like that this is kind of like right under the corner of the pergola and up against the house and under that eave up there. So again, it's going to get as little weather as possible, just making it last as long as possible. Um, when I mounted it, at first I mounted it actually kind of straight up and down. And then I quickly realized my error, which is that then the fan was blowing, you know, horizontally out here, like up at like, you know, the umbrella level, not down at the people sitting at the table. So what I did was I then angled it a little bit, right? So I just put the top forward a little bit and the bottom backwards a little bit. And then what that has done is it's actually given me a nice little angle where the fan can still spin on its turn on its axis here. And it can reach pretty much everybody from that end of the table back down to this end of the table. Um, another thing is that, you know, with this chain, obviously, again, it's intended to kind of hang out of the bottom. With it coming out of the side like this, it works perfectly fine this way. So waterproofing, again, maybe not quite as waterproof because it's sideways, so there is a chance that water could get in there. I don't think it's a huge problem, again, being under the eaves in the pergola, but I am taking a little chance here with the way that I've installed it. But I will say that I really do like the way that this thing blows wind. So let me see if I can turn it up to high. So this is low, so let's give you a little bit of an idea of the sound. It's actually really quiet like I don't think at a party or something with people around especially with people talking you're even really gonna hear it so that's low it's medium and that's high so that's as loud as it gets um, now let me come over here I'm gonna sit down I'm gonna show you because I already had my wife come out here and we sat so this is the farthest seat away from the fan and I mean it is still visually like moving air I can feel it on me it feels really nice really refreshing it's moving this uh, umbrella quite a bit like and that is you know probably 10 12 feet away from me right now so again just to know that it's going to cover this whole table and I can spin it you know side to side to kind of cover the table I did kind of put it in the middle and you pretty much get it on all seats so if you turn it you know sort of to the middle it does have a really wide spread of air it's like sitting in that seat or this seat down at the end or any of these side seats we were still getting air from the fan so again super super impressed with this thing it's just as good as or even better than the one that i use in my garage um, again super heavy duty construction love the metal construction super super happy with this thing super excited to use it more uh, if you have any questions post up in the comments down below i'm happy to answer them um, i'll put a link in the description below too so if you're looking for this thing and you want to learn more and, and kind of see all the dimensions on their website feel free to check that out and uh, yeah, that's the new Air 20 inch uh, outdoor XP4 rated fan. As always, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, make sure to click that subscribe button down below. I do a lot of gear reviews. So if you're into outdoors, camping, travel, overlanding, that kind of stuff, there's always gonna be a ton of videos here for you on that stuff. Um, also in the description down below will be links to Facebook, Instagram, my TikTok. I've got a Patreon page where we've got a, an exclusive Discord where we all chat 24 seven. We even do a, like a once a month sort of live video all together. And then that goes up on the channel. So if you wanna be on YouTube, you wanna be on the podcast, Love to have you join the Patreon group. Um, there's also a link to the Newbie Overlanders Facebook group, totally free to join. Tons and tons of members growing every day, and it's different than the big groups where you're gonna get beat up if you ask questions about what tires to run or what battery to use. And we've got a ton of great knowledge built into the, the user base, so love to have you in there as well. But again, thanks for watching. Hopefully this was helpful. If it was, click that like button, um, and we will see you guys next week.